Hello, and welcome to my review of Season 3 of Afterlife. To let you know where I was with this show uh, before Season 3 is... I really enjoyed it. Much of it, at least. I think when they get creative with the writing, I think it is brilliant. I'm not a fan of when it's just Tony walking around calling everyone cock and cocksucker and dick and stuff like that. That's not something I enjoy. But when they actually get creative with the conversations and the interactions between Tony and other people and and between the side characters, I think it's amazing. And this season is actually my favorite. Um, I think it removes a lot of the things I didn't enjoy, the things I just mentioned. And I think when they do have those moments where he calls someone something offensive, it's done in a much more creative way. For example, uh, when they're, when Tony and Lenny are sitting at the cafe and uh, someone annoys Tony and he like starts calling Lenny uh, some offensive things to annoy the guy behind him, I think that's more creative than just him saying it to their face. Like little changes like that was something I really, really appreciated. I love the increased focus on Kath and her trying to find a relationship and where that ends. Um, I love the relationship uh, between Brian and James. In, gen in general, Brian is just my favorite character of the show. I think he is hilarious. Everything he says, he I, I crack up. He's the one person that can say the most offensive things. And I still crack up because there's just something about his, his diction and his line delivery that is just absolutely class it is so so funny and i love this relationship he has with james who's also just a brilliant character i also loved the whole thing about like tony and matt playing different sports against each other and tony just battering him in everything i love the everything about when they play squash both before and dur during when tony vomits on the floor and Especially the conversation they have afterwards uh, at the hospital after Matt's heart attack is one of the most genius scenes of this entire show. I think it is so funny. I also really enjoyed, I thought at, at first I thought that this was going to be the the season where Tony and, and Emma would finally get together. And while I was rooting for that to happen... I kind of enjoyed the fact that Tony never actually replaces Lisa. That he just ends at this state where he's okay with with what's going on. I think that was just really emotional. And in general, I think the, the season finale is the best season finale of this show. I think it's a perfect place to leave off the show. Everyone's character arcs are finished wonderfully. I love that we even get an emotional moment with Brian, and he ends up finding love. Um, I think it's so amazing when uh, when he gets to t to tell a joke to someone who actually wants to hear it, and then it's it's one of his best jokes ever. Um, I think yeah, as I mentioned with Kath, I think it's amazing that she gets to find love, and it's with Pat, and that's just. Yeah, I just loved how they tied up everything and the beautiful moment with Tony walking off and you can just start to imagine for yourself what that whole thing means and you can interpret it for yourself. I think that's really amazing. The things I didn't like about this season was there are a few characters that I was really missing. Um, I really, really felt Sandy's... Uh, absence. I really missed Sandy in this show. She is just, in many ways, the the soul of the show because she's just so pure and good and I really missed her. I also really missed Daphne. I know you, you hear about her through Pat and in that sense you can sort of feel like she's still a part of the show, but like seeing her on screen, I really missed that. And I also think it was a huge mistake to bring back the friends of the therapists. Uh, the, the therapist is... I don't, rem I don't remember his name. But the therapist is probably my least favorite character of the show. I don't think any of his scenes are funny at all. 
uh, and I was really happy that he wasn't part of the show anymore. But I think the friends, like they came back for one episode and then for the finale, and I just no, I just no, I didn't like it at all. I still think some of the humor is a little hit or miss. Um, and I didn't like the new characters introduced. I think there was a bit more focus on the, the theater director guy than I personally wanted. And I think the new girl coming in to replace Sandy isn't as interesting or likable. Um, but the one big criticism I have is... Is sort of also why I like that it ends here, because it is very repetitive. And at first I thought this was the story of how Tony and Emma would get together. But given the fact that it's not, it's pretty much just the same as what we've gotten before. The reason this is my favorite season so far, uh, or overall because now it's done, the reason this is my favorite season is because they removed many of the things I didn't enjoy. Um, but, like, basis level, this is still just the same as we've gotten before. But yeah, as mentioned, this is my favorite season of the show. And, um, again, to let you know where I was with the show, I gave the first season a 71%, I gave season 2 a 67%, and I'm going, and for this season, I'm going all the way up to an 80%. I really, really enjoyed Season 3 of Afterlife.